You're listening to BBC Six Music. Jimmy Goodwin and the Bird Effect Ensemble now, Ghost of Gone Birds. Talk to Jimmy next, he's hosting the party. You're listening to BBC Six Music and that's Ghosts of Gone Birds, Jimmy Goodwin and the Bird Effect Ensemble. Uh, I'm saying that to introduce Jimmy and also to try and get myself a job on Radio 3. Well, why not? Hiya, Jimmy! 
Are you? I, I, did you I, oh, it's, it makes me feel at home when I hear that. Are you? You sound like my best are mate. You? Oh, I'm all, right. all right, yeah. Uh, you're on your way to uh, the exhibition of Ghosts of Gone Birds, aren't you, right now? Yeah, yeah, I went, I, I'm going down for more, yeah. I went last on my opening night, and it's a spectacle, all right? It's fantastic. So all the clues are there. I mean, you're in a band called Doves. Are you a bit of an ornithologist? I am, I guess, yeah, and it was something that took a back seat when, like, music really took a hold, I guess, when you're, like, 13, 14. Um, it's just a, a case of, like, you know, when I go on walks, I just can't help thinking what I see, you know, and things yeah. like that. And, but I've got into it more in, in earnest with Kerry Levy, the organiser of the Ghost of Gunbird. Kerry's been making a film called The Bird Effect, and I've been doing the music for it, which is what, you, I guess, you played that snippet of then, and that's my contribution to the exhibition, really. Uh, I mean, the band Doves, I think it was Andy who came up with that. We really liked the name of Swans back yeah. in the day, you know. Oh, I, I really loved the Swans. They did uh, a version of Love Will Tear Us Apart. I can't really recall any of this stuff. Because yeah. I just remember thinking the name, and I think Andy just jerked up with all about does. But, I mean, you couldn't have eagles, because that had gone, and you couldn't have... <laughs> do you remember Blackbirds? Um, I'm walking in rhythm. Oh, God, yeah, yeah really bad disco, yeah, yeah. the bad end of... Yeah. Black Crows... Yeah. Although it's got an E in it, hasn't it? Yeah, anyway, it's got an e. yeah. Skylarks, they're a very old sort of doo wop band. And then, of course, the Blue Tits, Dawn Chorus and the Blue Tits, which was my own band. <laughs> really? Yeah. <laughs> Who's Dawn Chorus? Was that you? I was Dawn Chorus, and then Carol Vorderman was a Blue Tit. Get lost. You're making this up, man. I'm not. We had three records. We were on stiff records, I'll have you know. We were cool. Oh, well, yeah. Wow. Incredible label. When you're digging out your Swans records, look for blue tits. Last chicken in the shop, wasn't there as well? Oh yeah. See, there's all these extinct bird bands, uh, but I'm so ignorant about birds. I know the dodo is extinct. What else yeah. is in this exhibition? There's galinials. There's all sorts. Of the, another famous one, I guess, from the British Isles is the grey talk. Right. Sadly, met its end in uh, the Orkneys, I think, in, in maybe about 1840 odd. What a shame uh, they've gone. It's obviously, you know. Things do happen as part of the natural order of things, but you know that man's had a, a big part to play these days in the industrialisation and everything of the world and clearing rainforests for this. And, you know, of course, we have a huge impact on the nature around us. And if we can sort of halt that decline, then all good. It just makes sense to me. And we just need to protect the birds we've got and really appreciate them. Let's celebrate the exhibition and your involvement in it, Jimmy. Let's get this party started. Uh, we're going to kick off Jimmy Goodwin's party with Public Enemy. It's my party. Six music. Have you forgotten that once we were brought here, we were robbed of our name, robbed of our language. We lost our religion, our culture, our God. And many of us, by the way we act, we even lost our mind. Here it is. And you say, God damn, this is a dope jam. But let's define the term called dope. And you're thinking me funky now, no. Here is a true tale. Why the ones that deal, all the ones that fail, yeah. You can move if you want to move. What it prove? It's here like the groove. The problem is this. We got to fix it. Check out the justice and how they run it. Selling, smelling, sniffing, riffing. And brothers try to get swift in. Selling their own. Rob a home while some shrivel up on like comatose walking around. Please don't confuse this with the sound. I'm talking about together too. The bells of those that boost the dose of lack of lack and those that sell the black. Shame on the brother when he dealing. The same block where my 98 be wheeling. And everybody know another kilo. From a corner from a brother keep another below. And stop illing and killing. Stop grilling. Yo black yo. We a Four five o'clock in the morning. Wait a minute y'all. The fees are feeding day to day to day. They say no other way. This stuff is really bad. I'm talking about
born, boys is attached to black word born. My man Daddy O once said to me, he knew a brother that stayed all day in his Jeep, and at night he went to sleep, and in the morning all he had was sneakers on his feet. The culprit used to jam and rock the mic. Yo, he stripped the Jeep to fill his pipe and wander around to find a place where they rock to a different kind of. Come on, y'all. Hold it now, wait. Wait a minute. Yo, run it, black. Suck the tax is a meal for kids that make cash. Selling drugs to the brother man instead of the other man. Brothers and sisters. I'm talking about. Oh, public enemy, Jimmy. Why did you choose that one? Uh, as soon as I hear that weird, almost like a, a truck in reverse, that beat that goes through the track, it just you know it takes me right back to when I first heard it about eighty seven, eighty eight, and I just literally jumping around the room like I would have done to say the Ramones back you know when I was seven. It's like <laughs> got that you know so infectious to me. I just love it. And you were a, a massive Clash fan. We were talking to a listener earlier, and she says that her mum's mum and dad's record collection was dire. Uh, they were stuck in the 60s, but you were lucky, weren't you, at your house when you were growing up? I was, yeah. I was. My dad was a bit of a cat, you know. It was. Um, I, I got to see loads of bands with him, you know. Eh? Whoever was coming through Manchester, saw the Ramones at the Apollo with the Clash and enjoying the Blockheads at the Free Trade Hall. And it was just ace, you know, really, really good vibes. What a great dad. Yeah, it was good fun. Uh, um yeah, you know, just an incredible record that, you know, it's just, it's just, it is, it's punk. It's, I love the great thing about hip-hop is that Grandmaster Flash and all those cats, they were digging punk and, you know, I look at Africa Bambata, Africa Bambata used to walk around New York in a Sex Pistols t-shirt, you know, and the famous story that Malcolm McLaren met him in the street and went, that's my band, you know, and so they're all like, I'm taking you to block parties and places that maybe like, Malcolm McLaren shouldn't have been, you know. I just love that culture clash. It's great. Well, you'll have to educate me culturally on this next one you've chosen for your party. Ray Bryant, Up Above the Rock, the yeah. title track of an album he brought out in 1968. I don't know anything about Ray Bryant. Go on, tell us all. I don't really know much about him as well. I must, you get kind of fascinated with things that people have sampled over the years. Um, it was sampled by Cool G Rap back in about 89. And... Um, you know, this sometimes makes people like me dig back and go, oh, wow, well, where's he got that from? And I, do, I just love that kind of piano anyway. I love that kind of Ramsey Lewis and him and Ike Turner, that, that barroom piano sound. Do you know, that's that filmic. It's almost like, you know, sort of Quincy Jones sort of style production and I just love it. OK, let's dance. <laughs>
Jimmy Bryant, Up Above the Rock. I think I'll have to go and get the album myself now. Thank you for that, Jimmy. Oh, no worries. It's yeah. quite great, isn't it? Yeah, really. I can imagine shimmying around at a party with that on, you know, trying to yeah, look bit cool. Yeah, a bit of talc on the floor. Yeah. The way that sort of slide. Glass in my hand. Right. <laughs> now, who would be your fantasy guest then? Ooh, hmm. crikey. I'm going to say Peanut Butter Wolf. He's a DJ from America and he's the owner of Stone Throw Records, which is like, I guess, my favourite record label of the last about 10 years now. He's just such an eclectic DJ. I know that if I invited him to my house for, to a party as guest of honour, I could then make him DJ and stuff and he'd just blow the roof off it. He's just so eclectic and, you know, his label's incredible. Um, what are Doves up to at the moment? Doves are having a, a long break. No real plans at the moment. We toured Kingdom of Rust, the last one, and, you know, we always include the first band, Sub Sub, really, in our lineage or whatever, because it's the same three cats and all that. 23 years, you know, I figured we might have earned ourselves a little bit of time to go off. So we, we haven't really got any plans at the moment. But never not, say never. Yeah, I was going to say, it's not like never say never again. No, no, no. no well, well, have a rest. <laughs> push, push your trolley around Morrison's or something and, you know, yeah. dabble in whatever takes your fancy. And do have that party with um, Ray Bryant at the Wheels of Steel. Thanks for coming on the show. I hope the exhibition is a great success, not least because you've given it its soundtrack, Jimmy. And um, we'll go out now with Mr Fingers. Larry Heard, it's Mr Fingers, yeah. Legendary house producer from Chicago. I think Larry Heard's from. He was on Washing Machine Records and all these great labels from back then. It just reminds me of getting ready, really. It was almost like a sort of pre clubbing tune or either pre clubbing or like, you know, 4 a.m. style. Yeah. You know, and some nice slow, deep house. Okay, well, let's have it now. What about this love chosen by Jimmy Goodwin of Doves? Uh, up to see you soon, whatever you're doing, Jimmy. Thanks for hosting the party today. Pleasure. But nice to speak to you. God bless, Liz. Bye. Hurrah.
Larry Heard, also known as Mr. Fingers. What about this love? Great choices from party host today, Jimmy Goodwin of Doves. And that exhibition, Ghosts of Gone Birds, is at the Rochelle School, Arnold Circus, Shoreditch, London, E2. It's on now until the 23rd of November, featuring artwork from no less than Sir Peter Blake and Ralph Stedman.